move now to our collaboration with Google, and among today's top rising searches, Large Hadron Collider. Three, two, one, go. Two spots! Fantastic! A 17 mile underground tunnel recreating the conditions at the beginning of time. Skeptics are saying that all of Craig black holes that would swallow the planet are part of it. They're hoping to discover subatomic particles so tiny that they've never been detected. To collide two beams against each other to recreate a shower of particles that happened 13.7 billion years ago at the instant of creation itself. We are now going to recreate on a tiny scale the first chapter of Genesis. And, and, and so I understand this. It will get stronger by the week. It will get stronger by the month. It's at full strength a year from now? About a year from now, it will be at full power. That a group of fringe scientists believe the collider might even create a black hole that could swallow up the Earth. I know it's sort of the largest of these accelerators. And it you know, crosses between Switzerland and France. And uh, I guess the bigger these things get, the faster they accelerate the particles. A little black hole would first circle inside the Earth, and nothing would happen for a while, but eventually it would eat a little quark, and this quark would not be eaten like that, it would have to circle to get in, and thereby an electric field would arise, which would increase the strength of the attraction of this little element by 38. But when you're playing with the building blocks of nature, we've all played with building blocks, Occasionally, they all fall down. It's 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 like uh, I heard Feynman once describe it. It's it's is, is trying to understand matter, like trying like trying to understand a watch by shooting it with bullets and see what comes flying out. It's almost the same kind of thing, you know. And the the higher speed the bullets, the more sort of fundamental things you can get out. And I mean, so how does it work? Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's like uh, they they. Uh, trigger of the Newton particles in some tube and they at the speed of light and then it collides and something like that. You know, by ripping around magnetic field, like, like you know, like static fields and so, uh, so if they get, they get up to closer to the speed of light, they can look at more energetic particles. Uh, hopefully, I guess, see ones that they hadn't seen before. <laughs> the Large Hadron Collider? No. No. No idea. What, what is it? Yeah, like I say, I, I don't know who these people are as a worry. If they're respected scientists, I'd be worried. Okay, if they're people that sort of heard about uh, forming small black holes or someone like me, I wouldn't worry too much. You know, they read Hawking's book and thought, oh gosh, maybe it's going to kill black holes. But I can't imagine if there was a real chance of that, that they'd go ahead with it. If, if you know, the people in charge of it that really know something thought there was a chance. So I think it's probably zero chance that they'll make a black hole do it. If I were to tell you that the LHC has a 0.001% chance of causing a black hole and ending life on Earth. Well, I don't know if I buy that because it's all theoretical. So how you can put a percentage on something that's theoretical is kind of odd. Um, and then even if it did happen, you know, if it really created a black hole that requires so much energy, None of us would be the wiser. We just kind of vaporize, so whatever. Or don't we go into another dimension? I don't even know. Whatever. Bravo, bravo, he's saying Luciano Maiani. Italian Director General of CERN. Scientists at CERN insist that all safety protocols have shown no reason for concern that we're talking about, you couldn't light up a light bulb. Even a light bulb cannot be lit so up by the energy. So all this talk about it creating a black hole swallowing the earth or parts of the, of the Swiss Alps anyway, all, all that's baloney? Yeah, it's all baloney. I'm With a collider this big, how do you know that it, that it wouldn't create a black hole? We don't know that it won't do that, but we know that if it's producing these little black holes, then they are decaying and they're not doing anything dangerous to us. Not going to swallow the earth? No. You sure of that? Absolutely. <laughs> Occasionally they all fall down. I would say that we're just trying to see what blocks there are. We're not building them. Nature does that. Nature takes these... ...passed its first test today, One, which zero. was to fire two beams Nothing. of protons yeah, in it. opposite directions. And yes, the good news, we're still alive to talk about it. <laughs> uh.